Meat Boy is kind of back because there is some meat in this recipe. But today we are making penne vodka with all high quality, some organic ingredients. And I think it's one of the most popular like Italian American pasta dishes. I'm sure most of you have had it, but I never really knew how exactly to make it until I started cooking in the kitchen. So let me show you guys what we have today. So we have our ingredients laid out in the order of the cooking process. First, we're gonna saute some prosciutto with shallot and garlic and a little bit of butter. Sometimes they use onion instead of shallot. Sometimes they use pancetta instead of prosciutto. This is what I like. Then to that sauteed mixture, we're going to add either tomato sauce or tomato paste. Some recipes prefer one over the other. I'm going to use a combination of both as we see. This is organic from Italy. That's what I chose. I just bought a cheap vodka because my family's gonna have this. You can omit the vodka if you want to. You can get some higher quality organic, but this was just the cheapest one I saw at the liquor store. Organic pasta, and this isn't the super highest quality. If you wanted to make something really special, you'll even like see the flour left on the outside of the pasta, but this is what we have. Then while we're boiling the pasta, we're gonna finish the sauce with some heavy cream and some Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese, and then it will be topped with basil. Now, yeah, obviously, you know, we wish Frankie was selling us prosciutto that he was making in his basement, as well as some vegetables he was growing in the farm in his backyard, even some raw dairy he was milking from his own cows. But maybe before I leave this godforsaken planet, I'll be doing all of those things. In the meantime, we have some pasta to make. So not too much prep work. We diced up one shallot and three cloves of garlic, as well as a few ounces of prosciutto, as reasonably well as I could, and about a cup and a half of Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. So you don't have to worry too much about that because you know you could just take an emulsion blender and blend the sauce smoother if you'd like to, which I think we will do. So we're just gonna put maybe a tablespoon of grass-fed butter in our pan here. Add everything, the shallot, the garlic, this isn't gonna be like a deep caramelization, just you know, a three to five minute saute to bring out the flavors. So it's been about five minutes, a little more caramelization than I would go for, but smells really delicious. It's gonna be good. We wanna add half a cup of the tomato puree and half a cup of tomato paste. Now this, we're gonna to mix together and it needs to simmer for a few minutes just to cook out any raw tomato flavor that might be left. While the tomato sauce is simmering, we are going to add one pound of pasta to our boiling water, as well as a nice amount of salt. And that's what this recipe is for, one pound of pasta. So if you're making less pasta, maybe save some sauce for another day. So the tomato sauce has been going a few minutes. Now we're gonna add our vodka, two tablespoons. So if you're wondering what it tastes like without the alcohol, all the vodka really does is bring out the flavors of everything in it. So it certainly makes it taste better. And that's why, you know, most excellent French dishes, most excellent Italian dishes have some type of alcohol added to them at some point. Usually wine. You can kind of turn the heat off and just let it simmer. So our pasta has been boiling for 10 minutes and it's al dente. We're going to strain it out. So then everything's going to come together. We're going to add half a cup of heavy cream to the sauce, half a cup of very starchy pasta water. We'll put our pasta in here. Half of our Parmesan cheese, which is three quarters of a cup. Let me start mixing everything together. And we have some really, really fresh and fragrant basil. This stuff is uh, super potent, so I'm not gonna put too much in. And there we have it, guys, our penne vodka. Let's plate it up. Tear a basil leaf on top, nice sprinkle of Parmesan. And that's that. Well, it's 11 at night, and I think my sister has stayed up in anticipation of trying this pasta, so. Here we have it. Oh, if it eats I mean, to a bowl. Well, let's not tell mom and dad. Not that they watch my videos and would find out anyway. Mm. Ginny, you're not in the camera. Mmm. Great pasta, so good. Mmm. Where did you put in the sauce, friend? It's pan of vodka sauce, you know. Did you put extra vodka in this? Yeah, there's a little bit. You might want to put a bowl. How does it compare to Olive Garden, Gina? It's better than Olive Garden. My parents, I don't know what's wrong with them. They go to like the worst restaurants, Olive Garden, these like green stuff? crappy Italian restaurants. It's basil. 
Oh. How was it, Gina? Delicious. Mm. Looks delicious. Mm. And I'm sure if you guys make this for your family, it will be delicious as well. We have some salt and some Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese available on frankiesfringemeat.com. Mm. You guys can probably find all this stuff at a health food store or like a local Italian deli. Oh, so good. But that's going to be it, guys. You can go to frank-stefano.com to support me through all my businesses. And let me know what recipes you guys would like to see next week. I'm going to try to do some more meat and steak stuff. Although, you know, over the past three, four years of cooking on YouTube, we've kind of done a lot of steak mm -hmm. recipes. But I'll come up with some new stuff. So, thanks again for joining me, guys. Uh, and I'll and see you, you know for... YouTube, and just so you know, YouTube people, my brother Frank, as you can see, I uh, get a lot that me and my brother do look alike. As you can tell, we have the same bone structure, except he's taller and better looking and kind of looks like a hotter version of George Clooney. I wouldn't say that, Gina. I think you just need to get a tan. Uh, so maybe we'll throw her in the, in the sunbed a, a couple times and you guys will I see need, a new Gina I need next video. Tan and I need, we need like a, me like a spray tan. Bye, YouTube people. Right, I'm we'll going to eat this full of pasta now. I'll see you guys tomorrow.